Previously on Feats of Strength. Previously on Feats of Strength. Broke the British record log lift with an amazing 221 kilos. Next up, Ivan Makarov, Rauno Heinle, and Mikhail Shivlikov compete head to head against each other in an attempt to break the world record deadlift of 501 kilos and the master's deadlift record of 435 kilos. And welcome to World's Ultimate Strongman Feats of Strength, Episode 6. We have the season finale. Season 1, we started with the maximum deadlift world record from Hathor Bjornsson with 501 kilograms. Today, we have three athletes trying to beat that world record set by Hathor Bjornsson. The max deadlift, I'm with Lauren Shalley. How are we today, Loz? Good, Mark. Excited to see this battle between these great athletes. Obviously, we've got we've got two records being attempted today. Um, Makarov has said from the start he wants the world record. This is a head-to-head competition, though, between the two men. And then we have Misha Shivlikov, who's going for the Masters record. He got close in Season 1. He believes he's in better shape, and he wants to take the Masters record for himself. So two record attempts we will see this evening. Yeah, so the three athletes we have today is Ivan Makarov, who will be in Russia, Rauno Heinle in Estonia, and then, as Lauren Shalley said, taking or going for the Masters record, Mikhail Shivlikov, who is also in Russia. And we're a bit all, all over the planet, myself in the United Arab Emirates in Dubai, Lauren Shalley in the UK, and Big Z, who will be aired in from Lithuania. I'm excited for this one today. The season finale, what do we think, Loz? What's the sort of predictions for today? Well, I think it's always exciting when we've got a deadlift for Max. It's it's a record that, you know, there, it was such a big record when Thor went for it in season one with the, the battle between, you know, Eddie Hall and, and Thor. They're, they're two of the greatest of all time. But this guy, even Makarov, he's not really known as a strong man he's a deadlift specialist he's he's a very powerful man very gym strong and the deadlift is it's just something he's had his eyes set on and he's just spoken about wanting that record and he doesn't talk about breaking it by a kilo or two he, he's he's talking about destroying the record you know we've seen we've seen things mentioned online of 520s and 550s and ridiculous numbers like that the fact is he's still not pulled 500 kilos from the floor with a standard bar it's a huge, huge weight. It really is. I mean, uh, we've been spoilt these last few years with some ridiculous lifts. Obviously, we mentioned Eddie Hall's 500, the first man to do it. And then Thor taking up that little bit high with a 501. I'm not sure. I, uh, You know, he's a crazy enough man to do it. I, I've, I've watched his training and I don't understand how he can go so heavy so often. It doesn't really make sense. He, he attacks the central nervous system. He manages to keep going heavy all the time. And when you look at most guys, you look at the guys like Thor and, and Eddie, they they peaked for these events and then and then backed off. But I, I'm interested in the battle, the head-to-head. Rauner Heinle is an incredible deadlifter. We saw him get the record with a 400 earlier in the season. Has he recovered from that attempt? We saw him led on the floor, absolutely battered afterwards. It's going to be interesting, but one thing's for sure. Makarov is not here for, for second place. He's going for that. He's going for broke. He's going to go for that world record. We're going to see him attempt something huge today. I'm looking forward to it. And he, in training, he was pulling around 490 kilograms, which, again, as you say, is very heavy and very close to the world record. 490 kilos is insane, Mark. I mean, I've... I've done a number of big, big pulls in the past. You know, the first time I ever pulled 430 kilos, which I thought was big back then. You know, it's nothing compared to these guys now, but it, for me, it was a big lift. And I tried to pull, I tried to have a deadlift session with a friend a week later, and I found 300 kilos hard. And, you know, it wasn't that the strength's not there. You're just so drained from, from these top end weights. Unless you've experienced holding on to 400 kilos, you know, it really does take it out of your body. But he, he manages to come back. He lifts big weights, Week in, week out. The one thing we will say, you know, most of the strong men, they focus on a number of lifts. Makarov is is really been focusing just on the deadlift. So his recovery, he's probably got more rest days in between. Um, 
you know, I'm not going to say he doesn't know what he's doing because the guy has lifted ridiculous numbers already. And like you say, 490, I think, is the third biggest lift of all time behind, you know, the, the two two greats. We see Makarov now just warming up. So warming up with 400 kilos, 880 pounds. He's got the deadlift suit on, which again, we've spoken about in the past, gives you that protection around the hips, the speed off the floor. Let's see how this looks. Let's see the, the tone for the day. <laughs> wow. Speed rep. Well, you know, he just made that look extremely easy. So maybe, we, maybe we're going to see a world record. You know, I've been talking about how the, the, these weights affect the central nervous system. He just made 400 kilos look so, so easy. Yeah, he essentially stood up quicker than I got up off the sofa with that weight. Yeah, he's just looking back at it. To be assessing how it feels, how it looks. Sometimes, it, sometimes I don't know how you feel, Mark, when you're training. Sometimes you'll do a lift and you'll think it feels a lot harder. Then you watch it back and actually it looks easier than yeah. it was. It's, it's always hard to tell until you can look back at it. I'm sure he's going to be happy with that. It's all part and parcel with the warming up stages. You'll feel that he's getting... The central nervous system, we keep talking about getting it warmed up, getting it firing, getting the adrenaline going. That's really what's going to make the difference um, when the, with these top weights. Yeah, and the way he moved that is exactly what he wants to see. He doesn't want to be struggling with these warm-ups. He wants to make them as easy and efficient as possible to save that energy for the big effort later on. So we have Ronald Heinler in Estonia here. Going for 375 kilos. Again, just warming up. This weight is relatively light for these guys. Crazy to say that as well. 375 yeah. kilos is a huge weight. Obviously, we saw Rauno pulling 400 for reps only five, six weeks ago. How's his body recovered from then? I've not seen much training videos from Rauno the last few weeks. So I don't know, again, if that's a good or bad thing. Has he just been resting for this, this effort? We know he's strong right now with, with the 400 for reps. How's that going to translate to maximum pulls? <laughs> Just getting the air out there. <laughs> so here we go. Rauno Heinler, again, setting the tone for the day. 375 kilograms. Again, he's in the deadlift suit. It just makes it that much harder to get in position. That's why they're often on their, they've ever got their feet spread or they're on their knees to get in position straight away. But look at that. Wow. Another speed rep, Again. 375 kilos. Flying up there. Escape to the most tropical island with the most tropical flavor. Not that kind of flavor. That kind of then add a floral punch of lychee, slammed into a tangy burst of lilla corn, give it zero sugar, but still make it taste good. Paradise good. Then pack it with power, so you can outdo you. That's what goes into New Rain Lilla Koi Lychee. A total body fuel. At Castle Water, we have a clear vision to create an independent water retailer providing an excellent water service to all our customers at the best possible price. We're now the second largest water retailer in the UK, servicing more than 350,000 customers. Visit castlewater.co.uk to find out more, get an instant quote and switch to the UK's leading independent water retailer.
Animal is a state of being. It's right where discipline collides with intensity. And you either have it or you don't. Some of us are born with it. And others, well, they just have to work harder than everyone else to get it done. One more Those of us who are animal always find a way to get it done. No excuses. I am animal. Знаменитые актеры, любимые сериалы, собственный продакшн, мировое кино. Позитивнее. <свят> Ежедневно, круглосуточно. And welcome back to World's Ultimate Strongman, Feats of Strength. A little flashback here to episode one, where we have Hathor Bjornsson deadlifting 501 kilograms, taking the new world. See that attempted to be broken. It's nice to finish off where we started. The mountain from Game of Thrones going for 501 kilograms here. This was a sight to be seen. Yeah, this was a special moment. I mean, I think the, the, the battle between Thor and Eddie, they're both two of the biggest names in the sport, the build up to it, everything. And then how well he pulled this weight. We will watch it now, but look how fast this moves for a world record lift. Breaks it off the floor and it just keeps moving. There's no sticking points at all. Absolutely incredible lift. He had more in him that day. I would have yeah. loved to have seen him push it to the absolute limit to see what he really could have done, especially now where he's lost weight and he's focusing on a different sport. I wanted to see what he was capable of. But what but he, a lift. And he, he was so assertive at the top. He looked to Magnus von Magnussen. He gave him the nod. He said, I'm locked out. Give me that down signal. This is my world record. Yeah, it really was incredible. I mean, I've got to say, Eddie and Thor, as much as the battle between them goes on, they are the best two deadlifters of all time. And it's Makarov wants to put his name into that, that list. My parents didn't allow me because I was in poor health, but I went on my own anyway, signed up with friends, and started going to wrestling classes. This was my first experience in sports. Since I grew up in a poor family, I had to start earning a living at an early age. I started working at the age of 15 on some difficult jobs, such as construction sites for 15 hours a day. Despite this, I always trained and played sports. From the very beginning, I had very big goals. All or nothing is my motto in life. I am a maximalist. If I take on something, I will finish it. I want to be the best. For me, there are no limits to human capabilities and human strength. The craving for sports came to me when I realized that I needed to change something in my life. In my youth, I had a strong craving for alcohol because I had a genetic predisposition. My father is an alcoholic. I wanted to change my life and I knew that sports could help me, take me away from these bad habits. So I went to the gym and started training. I gave myself completely to my work, and it bore fruit. I started to make rapid progress. 
I really liked the old strength tricks, for example, breaking the chains that old school strongmen performed. I admired it and wanted to be the same. And I worked in a circus, and this was one of the most interesting moments of my life. I always trained regardless of any life circumstances. Life was very, very hard at times, but I never stopped. No matter what my health or financial issues were, I always knew that I had to get to my goal. This record is very important to me today. I've given it a lot of time and a lot of effort and risked a lot of my health to achieve this goal. Who knows, they may know that Ivan Makarov is not backing down. The most prestigious titles in strongmen are my main goal and objective. I've been preparing for this record for over two years. In my last attempt, I managed to pull 470 kilos. Today, to achieve a record, I need to pull 502 kilos. And I'm 99% ready. I'm calm and full of energy. With this record, I would like to show many who are desperate in their lives, who do not have financial opportunities, who have health problems, so that people don't stop, keep moving forward, go into sports, no matter what. There are difficult situations in life, but you should never despair and never stop. We need to keep moving forward. Sport is life. So we're back to Ivan Makarov, 450 kilograms, his second attempt. This should be his last attempt before the world record. He's making big jumps, 50 kilo jumps. Let's see how easy this moves. I mean, the 400 was just exceptional. He's just going to wiggle his feet in position so he can get that power through the legs. Squats down, uses that leg power. Nice. And again. And one thing with Makarov, he, he, he gets great speed off the floor. You see how quickly yeah. it shoots up. It did slow down a little bit at the top there. I don't know if you noticed that, Mark, but it was, I yeah. mean, it was, you know, 450 kilos. Let's get that right. Yeah. It's yeah. just shy of a thousand pounds. <laughs> but there was just a fraction of a sl slowing down near the top. And we've got to add another hundred pounds, just slightly more than that, onto the record attempt. I would yeah, have liked to have seen that faster. Yeah, I think I think he will would himself, but as as we said before, he, he could be warming up. He's still getting that nervous system wakened up. He's worked with heavier weight than this before. So he, he we'll looks, find out. Plus a thousand pounds almost on a weekly basis. I've never never seen anything like it. It's incredible. I don't know how he manages it. My name is Mikhail Shivlikov. I'm from Russia. I am forty years old and I live in Omsk. Recently, I participated in an attempt to break the world master's record of 430 kilos in the feats of strength season one, but unfortunately, I failed due to several reasons. After that, I worked very hard. Opportunity to set new world records. Fortunately or not, since my last attempt, my colleague from Ireland, James Hickey, set a new Masters deadlift world record, and now it is at 435 kilograms. It will not be easy, but I will do my best to set a new world record today with 436 kilograms. And God willing, I will try to lift even more to make me happy and to motivate other professional athletes in my age group. From Siberia with love, from Russia with respect, Mikhail Shivlikov. And we are now over to Russia, where we have Mikhail Shevlikov, the man of the Russian Special Forces, with his with his belly on, ready to go. He's one of the most likable men on the strongman scene. He doesn't speak much English, but he always makes an effort with everyone. He's such a friendly character. Yeah. He tries to entertain the crowd wherever he goes. He's a real fan favorite. 
And he, you always see effort from this man. You know, he's never backing down. He just gives 100% every single time you see him. Yeah, just a genuine, lovely guy. Here, here we go, 410 kilograms. He's ready. So just see that wide stance again. It's just because the suit is so hard to breathe in. He's just trying to get some air in before he wiggles his feet in position. He'll take that last breath and then he'll roll the bar in and drive hard through the floor and pull with the back. Great solid pull. Wow. And we can see there his signature nosebleed has already begun. It's, you know, a lot of people worry when they see these guys bleeding from the nose. It's the buildup of pressure. There's so much pressure lifting these weights and it just, it shows there that it's bursting out of his nose. It's, it's a common occurrence with Misha. We do see it quite a bit and he's absolutely fine. It's nothing to worry about. Yeah, I think, do you think he'll be happy with that lift? Obviously today he's going for 436 kilograms. I, I've got to say, it looked better than season one when he attempted the yeah. Masters record. I thought he wasn't looking his best um, season one. He looks a lot more confident this time around. That was a good, solid pull. Uh, he looks like he's got more in the tank. It, we can't compare it to even who's going for, you know, world record. Let's remember, this is an over 40s record, over 40 years of age, the, the record that um, Shivlikov is going for today. And I was very I'm just 900 pounds then moving extremely well. So Rauno Heinla, we're going to have a little flashback of what he did in episode one of season two, where he won the 400 kilogram deadlift for repetitions. Six repetitions with 400 kilos. Today, he's going to be working up to the max weight. Six repetitions, that, that puts him in good contention for that world record loss. Well, we've seen him twice now attempt the 400 for repetition, both times. Covered from this type of effort. You watch this six rep. He gives absolutely everything. And he even said afterwards that it was the hardest rep he's ever done. He had to dig, you know, it to go to a dark, dark place to get that rep fully locked out. It's yeah, taken he definitely emptied the tank on it. And like I said, when you, when you do go to that, you know, you run on empty. It does take time to recover. It, you know, these are still human beings. They're not robots. They're not machines this look at this rep look at the effort so many people would have gone down way before that he kept pulling and then just collapses to the floor yeah takes a lot of guts a lot of guts a lot of courage determination to finish off repetitions like that it really does see here. it's going to be interesting to see what he selects for his his numbers today he's He's, he's a very competitive man. He likes to, you know, he's won so many deadlift for maximum weight co in competitions. He's quite an overlooked strongman, to be honest, but he's always there or thereabouts, particularly in a deadlift for max. He's beaten some of the best in the world at deadlift. You know, he, he, he's placed ahead of guys like Jerry Pritchett. You know, Jerry's one of the absolute top strongmen. He, if, for reps, no one touches him. He's, he's truly an incredible, incredible deadlift. I've seen him go against Zadrunas many times and beat him. Rano really is an exceptional lifter. So here we go. Attempt number two for Rano Heinla. What he's weight have we got 425 there? 425 kilos, 935 pounds. And again. At Casa Water, we have a clear vision to create an independent water retailer providing an excellent water service to all our customers at the best possible price. We're now the second largest water retailer in the UK, servicing more than 350,000 customers. Visit castlewater.co.uk to find out more, get an instant quote and switch to the UK's leading independent water retailer.
Animal is a state of being. It's right where discipline collides with intensity. And you either have it or you don't. Some of us are born with it. And others, well, they just have to work harder than everyone else to get it done. One more, please. Those of us who are animal always need a way to get it done. No excuses. I am animal. Telegrams. You have Zudrunas Savickas, the greatest of all time. We can see they are making sure every mm -hmm. single yeah, kilo yeah, yeah, is yeah. on point. I think that's mm -hmm. 0.5 yeah. kilo uh, plates there. The little silver ones are, yeah, Mark. They're just yeah. making sure we've got the exact weight on the bar mm -hmm. for these attempts. Mm -hmm. Zudrunas, as always, every week he's checking the weights. He takes mm -hmm. it very okay. seriously. All of these records. No bet. No bet. And we can see Sidrina speaking the, the native tongue in Russia, communicating no with the guys on the ground. Sidrina is multilingual, mm -hmm. speaks many languages no actually. No no Interesting guy, Sidrina. Incredibly strong, yeah. but smart as well. He's, He's actually mm -hmm. been a politician no before. No a lot of people don't know that. But he's talking about getting back into some big competitions himself. So mm -hmm. well, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing that if he makes a comeback. But for now, he's the referee, head referee for all the World Ultimate Strongman feats of strength. And as always, we're just going through the weigh-in. What's your predictions then, Laws? We've seen that 450 kilograms. Do we think today is the day for Ivan Makarov? He's had a few attempts. You, you kind of understand my, my thought process. I, I never think that's the smartest thing to do, going quite that heavy. But saying that, he pulled 450 and it looked it looked very very good you know i wish i could pull 450 like that let's just say i don't know i just i just saw a fraction of a slowdown near the top he has that power off the floor if he can if he can get this bar high enough if he can drive hard enough with the legs and get the bar high enough he's got a chance he really does he's an incredibly strong guy and he's definitely you know there or thereabouts 25 we're over to Mikhail Shevlikov now for his Masters World Record. 436 kilos been loaded onto that bar. The previous record holder, James Hickey, 25. obviously with 435 kilos. James is an incredible deadlifter. He's really kind of proven that the last year. Or so. I mean, he's not the, the biggest name by any means, but he, he's broken this record a couple of times now. And Shivlikov actually failed to break 25. this record earlier in the year, but he does look in better shape from the warm ups today that I've seen. He looks like he's been training harder. He looks focused. It's going to be close. I really think he, he's got a 25. chance today. Yeah, we've seen from his, his failure in season one. Can he make redemption? on this left. Shevlikov's left. 25. I think we're going to see a Masters record today, Loz. I hope so, Mark. It's going to be... <laughs> I, I thought he was capable season one and he just didn't look in his best shape. I think he's had a bit more time to train now. He's had a good amount of rest as well between the two attempts. Um, I, I think 
he, he's definitely got a chance. You know, nothing is guaranteed with any of these attempts, as we know. Within this series, great Boyle almost in season one with people breaking records almost on a weekly basis. But it, you, you've really seen how hard these records are, grams. and they're records grams. for a reason. Okay, Mark, you know. To water, we have a clear vision to create an independent water retailer providing an excellent water service to all our customers at the best possible price. We're now the second largest water retailer in the UK, servicing more than 350,000 customers. don't. Some of us are born with it, and others, well, they just have to work harder than everyone else to get it done. One more, please. Those of us who are animal always find a way to get it done. No excuses. I am animal. And welcome back to World's Ultimate Strongman Feats of Strength, Episode 6, where we have the max deadlift. We have Ivan Makarov, Rauno Heinla, and Mikhail Shivlikov all battling it out today to find out if they can break our special guest's current world record. The current record holder being Hathor Julius Bjornsson, the mountain. How are we today, Thor? I'm very, very, very good. Thank you, my friends. I mean, life honestly could not be better for me. Uh, I, like I'm at home with my beautiful son and my wife, newly born son. So, you know, I couldn't be happier. You know, the world could be better, obviously, with the situa situation going on. But, you know, like I'm, I'm, I'm pretty um, happy with how things are here at home, at least with my family. Oh, it's great to see you and great to have you back. Great to have you back on World's Ultimate Strongman Feats of Strength. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, thank you so much for having me, guys. It's uh, always always a pleasure to 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 join you guys here. And, and, and you know, I'm excited to see what's going to happen now because, you know, this is this is going to be a hell of a fight between, you know, uh, Rauno and, 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 and Ivan. I, I, I believe they, they, they both can break the world record. They have the strength. They have the will. Um, but it all, like, they have to perform on the day. And, and um, you know, the stress 
and everything is going to kick in and, and we'll, we'll just have to wait and see what's going to happen. Yeah, for sure. For those of you at home who don't know the reason behind feats of strength, obviously unprecedented times has forced us to push the sport in a certain direction, just temporarily. And Hathor Beyonsim was the first athlete to step up to attempt some of these feats of strength and taking that 501 world world record, 501 kilograms world record on that episode. A great launch. Now we are ending season two with the same concept, going for that record, world record, 502 kilos. Makarov spoke of 520 kilos, Thor. A lot of the fans were saying that could have been in the tank for you. What do you think? I believe that I could have on the day pulled 510. You know, I'm just going to be honest what I think, you know, 501 came up pretty, pretty good. Um, it, it felt good. I was strong that day. Um, everything just clicked in on that day. And, and, and I believe, I, I, I truly believe that, that, that I could have pulled uh, 510 kilograms that day. You have to understand that every kilograms that you add onto that weight is like, like 10 or 20 kilograms, you know, when you, so, so could I, could I, could I have pulled 520? Mm. I don't want to sit here and be arrogant and and, 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 and and just say that, you know, I honestly don't believe that, that I had the strength that day to pull 520. You know, I have a lot of respect for, for deadlift and I have a lot of respect for, for these weights. And, and I, I just truly really don't believe that, you know, that is possible at, 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 at the moment, you know, but we are seeing some, some, some great athletes uh, pre preparing themselves and, and some great numbers. And, and I, I, I truly believe that, that someone is, is, is close. Someone could actually break my world record. Could someone pull 520 today, 2020 or 2001? I doubt it, but you never know. Like you have to have extremely strong mind. Um, and you have to be extremely motivated, driven, and, and focused to, and just not only that, but you have to, um, it's, you have to dig deep to able to, to, to do something like that. And, and I don't know, I've pulled 501. I know what it takes. Um, and um, so, so never say never, you know, people are always getting stronger and better. I believe that someone can pull and, 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 and break my world record um, soon, soon, honestly. Uh, could, could have it now. We're going to find out in a minute, Thor. I mean, firstly, massive congratulations to you and Kelsey. Obviously, life is good right now. But one thing I, I want to ask you that you were just mentioning then, you know, you have to go to a dark place almost to lift this kind of weight. So you've got to be really smart with how, when I, when I followed Eddie, did the 500 and then yourself doing the 501, what was the most that you went to in the gym? Because something we see by a lot of these guys at the moment is they're doing ridiculous numbers in training and then not bringing the best. And you and Eddie both seem to manage to, to peak at the right time. I just, from an from a athlete's point of view and a coach's point of view, I just wanted to pick your brain and, and understand what you lifted in the gym. What was the most weight you went up to? I believe I remember right. I pulled, uh, I think it was like, Three weeks before, two and a half weeks before, if I remember right, I pulled, I pulled quite heavy actually. Um, I pulled, I believe, I remember right, uh, th 480, 480, I believe, yeah, yeah 480, yeah, yeah. And how was that moving? Uh, it moved, it moved, it moved good, you know. I, I could have pulled more that day as well, uh, but was that necessary? Necessarily, no. You want to leave the best on the day. You want to you want to yeah. un un understand your body, and you want to know how to peak on the right day. And and that's that's the key here. You know, not to overtrain yourself, not to fatigue yourself, and 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 you want to come in ready on the day and and have your best day. Honestly, you know, it's so easy to overtrain. It's so easy to, um, you know, get injured uh, with when you when you're training this heavy. And often as well. So, um, I mean, yeah, 
it's 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 going to be a difficult task for the guys to do but uh, i've been seeing their training videos and and they both look very strong um i think it's absolutely possible if 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 if, if the body is healthy for sure and the mind they're both incredible deathlifters as are you let's see how they get on we can so. see here ivan makarov He's going into that deep, dark place we were talking about. You can see it in his face there. He's really zoning out. What do you think is going through his head right now? You've, you've pulled this kind of weight. What thoughts are going through your well, head? Well, everyone is different. You have to find something that, something that motivates you. What, I've always mo what has always motivated me is my family. And I've always been very... Um, uh, 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 lucky with like my family has, has always attended my competitions my shows doesn't matter where I'm competing in, in the world knowing that they are there puts an extra pressure on me and, and motivates me to to do better uh, that's that's enough for me so I don't know what motivates him but he's definitely thinking something something is going through his mind right now that's you know like putting his adrenaline adrenaline up and, and and he's ready i can see it in his face that he's yeah, very focused he, i was just going to say you can see that focus on him right now Take he's going to everything for this left absolutely absolutely he, look, look, yeah. he looks big and Take strong as well he so zudrinus savekis commanding evan makarov to Three, take the possession two, 502 one. kilograms Lift. He's got the figure of eight straps on. He wiggles the feet into position. Now he needs that speed off the floor. He's strong off the floor. He needs to drive as hard as he can, generate that power, get it over the knees, and then pull hard to lock out. Let's see. Come on, even. Come on. Let's, let's go. go. Everything. Come on. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything Come on. into it. Ah. That was a very strong pull. Very strong pull. He got it off the floor very fast, um, but then he didn't manage it above his knees. Uh, yeah, and I think it might have, yeah. 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 Look, well, look. He's, he's using the Texas barbell there, and with that amount of weight, as soon as you hit a sticking point below the knee especially, the whip of that bar just takes you crashing back down. I think he's yeah. just seeing some stars there. He looks a little bit dizzy. Does, blood does. pressure again that builds up. You could see the power off the floor. It came off fast, but he couldn't maintain that form to get it over the knees and then finish the lift. Just that midsection there. I don't came know if he's just really, dizzy really or hurt. Fast. Hopefully he's just a little bit dizzy. Yeah, I don't think it's hurt, but um, I think he's probably like... I remember the day when I, when I, when I pulled 501. It felt like my head was going to explode. It was so many like... <laughs> like it was just like... A big fucking headache, just like bam. <laughs> so I can, only, I can only, I can, I can re relate to that. I don't think many people can can relate to pulling 500 kilos. I mean, I've <laughs> I've pulled some big numbers before and done some some lifts, and and the pressure is tremendous. But to go to that extreme, only a very small handful of people have ever even attempted these numbers. It's it's seriously impressive lifting. Makarov gave it his all there. Unfortunately, not to be today. The record is still yours for now, Thor. But we have another athlete coming up in a second. Yes, sir. He did. He did amazing, though. He was was fast off the floor. I believe that that in the future he can definitely, definitely come back stronger. He seems to be getting closer and closer. The the weights he's pulling in the gym now have been ridiculous. He's not far off at all. Yeah, he pulled. He pulled like four ninety the other day, right? Isn't that correct? I believe so. Yeah. Perhaps, perhaps again, just maybe a little bit too much too soon to this mm. attempt. But everyone's different. We all have different kind of training methods that work. I, I'm I'm someone that needs to to sort of peak towards my biggest attempt, and, and my biggest attempt would be come comp day or attempt day. Absolutely. I personally wouldn't have gone two ninety this close, but. Like I said, everyone's different. And I know some lifters that can very effectively lift heavy numbers week in, week out. So mm -hmm. we are mm -hmm. all different. And but different. you have to know that the stronger stronger you get, the more recovery you need. Yeah. 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 So a lot of people sometimes forget that. You know, the stronger you become, the more rest you need. So, yeah. 
Um, definitely something that, um, yeah. Talking about I, recovery, Thor, how long did it take you to recover from that 501 kilograms? Uh, I, I honestly, I, it, it took me a while. Um, I, um, but I went into the gym quite fast. Like I, I think I was back in the gym like a week later. But um, I felt like I got a little bit depressed right afterwards because I, I just finished this a massive goal. And, and, and then I was kind of like saying good, goodbye to my – goodbye to the sport I love and, and going on to another journey that was extremely hard for me, extremely diff- difficult. So – uh, because I went into a different journey and I went into a different training circle right away. I felt like I got into a small depression. Uh, I, I think the reason reason why, why I got into the de- depression was because I just I, I, I went too fast training and it was too hard training as well because my body, I mean, I was, I was 205 kilograms when I pulled 501. And then all of a sudden now I'm doing a lot of cardio. I'm jumping around, like punching a bag, like twice a day. I was just like, I was my body was just saying, "What the fuck are you doing, Thor? Relax, take a break, rest." And but I was just hungry. I was I was motivated. I was driven, and I, and I wanted to, I wanted to start training. I should have probably given my body a bit more rest. And it's funny because like I'm actually like I'm a huge believer in the rest period. But but sometimes sometimes you make mistakes and you learn and you 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 learn from them. Yeah. But I mean that amount of weight, you need that that rest period post uh, post sort of lift. Yeah, I think and I think said, I think a good month from like heavy deadlift is necessarily after a lift like that. Yeah, a good yeah. month from like not heavy deadlift at least. And now we're over to Estonia, where we have Rauno Heinla. Lined up there with 455 kilograms. I was just going to say there, Mark. Yeah, he's put 455 kilos on. He's attempting to win the head-to-head before thinking about more weight. There is additional prize money for the head-to-head. So, Rauno being smart here, as much as I'd like him to go straight for that record, he's thinking about his bank balance. Yeah, a bit of a tactical move there from Rauno. We've seen him perform and lift a little bit heavier than this today going for that head for head head to head still a massive weight 1000 pounds 1004 pounds this is a huge huge weight yeah, this, this, that, this is a huge huge pull well it wasn't long ago this was the world record andy bolton was the first man to ever pull a thousand pounds it's crazy to think how far the records come since then but i can assure you this is a massive massive weight let's see how it looks three Two, one, lift. So wiggles his feet in position. Strong pull there. Strong pull. Great power off the floor again, as always. That slight sticking point in the middle, but he kept it moving. And it's nice to compare that to Makarov's 450. What do we think in comparison? Who had the more speed there? Very similar lifts, to be honest. They're both very, very strong off the floor. Once it got to around the knee height is where they sort of slow down a little. But I, that that looks solid by Rauno there, I thought, as well. But as, as good as Makarov's. Do I think he's got the world record in him? I'm not sure. Are we going to find out? Or is he going to just run and, and take the win today? So we're over to Russia now where we have Mikhail Shevlikov psyching himself up here. He is going for the Masters world record, 436 kilograms loaded onto, onto this bar. Can we see a world record today? What do we think, Thor? I think you can do it. I've competed with position. this guy for many years, and, and he, he has the man- mental strength. He. He is a beast, I believe. He is. And look Come at the on. hype team he's got with him. This is Three, yeah. two, one, Iceland-esque lift. hype team. Yeah, he, he can. I, I believe. I believe. Let's see he what he does. Wiggles himself in. Come on, Shiv. Come on. Let's go. Here we go. Come on. He's let's go. It. It's moving. Ow. It's over the knees. Come on. Ow. Come on. He's got it. The Come blood's on. coming Come on. out. Come on. Lock let's it up. Let's go. Oh. 
Can he Holy fix it? He's shaking. Good lift. Wow. He wow. gets it down to the from Zadrinus. That is <laughs> was crazy. What a fate. What a fate. Wow. Easy. Easy lift. <laughs> that was crazy. Wow. This man gives 100%. What can you say about that lift? That was the limit and no more. What <laughs> on that? It wasn't going. Look at the shaking in his body. <laughs> Over the knees, he's yeah. fluttering up and down. The blood is bursting out of his nose. His hips are still not locking out yet. Zadrunas makes him wait, makes him steady it. Finally gets the down signal. What a lift. That was, that was impressive. That was um, like, <laughs> yeah, wow. Look at his face. Look at the blood running through his nose. <laughs> Holy. And we were just talking about how much, like, this guy's mentality, like, yeah, he is. Yeah. And he that doesn't, he doesn't give it up. That, yeah, it just proves it there. And um, I think if it was anyone else, they would have probably dropped it. But because it's him with his experience, he just grinded it through. Like a lot of, I think a lot of guys would have probably given up. You know, it, it was a, it was a grind, but he made it, and it was great. It was awesome. At Castle Water, we have a clear vision to create an independent water retailer providing an excellent water service to all our customers at the best possible price. We're now the second largest water retailer in the UK, servicing more than 350,000 customers. Visit castlewater.co.uk to find out more, get an instant quote and switch to the UK's leading independent water retailer. And welcome back to World's Ultimate Strongman, Feats of Strength. We now have the post-feat interview from the man who attempted to lift 502 kilograms, Ivan Mak Makarov. How do I feel? I'm very much disappointed because I expected that I was ready to lift 502 kilos. Clearly today is not my day. In the near future, I will do it. I will lift this weight but it might take more time to get ready and to be stronger. Yes, today I am a little bit upset, but it gives me motivation to move on, to get stronger. Every loss is my future victory. 
It was a great honor for me to perform online with Zajuna Saviskas as the chief judge. For me, he is a very authoritative, legendary athlete. I need to have more training close to 500 and 500 plus to be 100% sure that I can lift this weight. These are high costs, both physical, emotional and financial. Therefore, I guess it will take a year to make this weight, possibly more. Go in for sports, lead a healthy lifestyle, go to your goal, never stop, hold the right direction, always only forward and not a step back. Ivan Makarov was with you. Thank you all very much for watching my attempt. I'll never stop until I get to victory. See you soon. Right, guys, now we're heading over to Rauno Heidler with his post feet interview. So, Rauno, how does it feel? 4.55. Actually, it feels good. It wasn't my maximum. It was quite good weight. But in one month, I haven't done any deadlift training, and uh, I just rest, and I didn't know anything what I'm able, what I'm capable to do today. And I'm happy with this weight. Of course, I was want to go to world record, but today wasn't possible, and a little bit smart to not lift this. Okay, understandable. Yeah. And uh, you were you were in front of a uh, big big uh, virtual audience. How that uh, felt? Big thanks for us to make this kind of competition for us, and it's feel awesome. Okay, and what's next for you? Actually, nothing. But uh, now I start prepare for Max deadlift world record mm -hmm. because I didn't prepare for this competition, but. Mm -hmm. I will start preparing now. Okay. And do you have a message for aspiring strongmen uh, or the watchers? Yeah, just don't give up. We hope this corona will be over soon and we can have more competition next year. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. And last but not least, Mikhail Shevlikov with that fantastic effort on the Masters world record. We head over to him for a post-feet interview. I finally managed to get this small yet big victory, which I had failed to achieve in the first season of Feats of Strength. This preparation was a little bit harder for me than the previous one, but the thornier the path, the sweeter the taste of victory. My next competition will be in November at World's Strongest Man, where I will represent my great homeland among 30 of the world's best athletes. I will try to take a high placing, at least reach the final, but I hope to be in the top three and I hope to win. You saw it yourself, only through blood, sweat and tears comes victory. Thanks to the organizers of World's Ultimate Strongman who gave me this opportunity, and of course to my team and to all those who rooted for me and supported me. Thank you very much to our fans of the strong sport that we have, and also see you in the next events at the World's Strongest Man. From Siberia with love, from Russia with respect, Mikhail Shivlikov. So... That is us from World's Ultimate Strongman Feats of Strength, episode six, where we had the max deadlift. Unfortunately, we had no world records broken today. Fortunate for you, Hafi. Uh, but we had Mikhail Shevlikov getting the Masters world record. What did we think of that today, guys? I thought it was absolutely just... It, it definitely gave me goosebumps, you know. I'm just like... Always great to see him lift and, you know, big congratulations to him. Exactly what Thor said. You know, watching Misha is just, it's always entertaining. You know you're going to get just the determination and the heart. He just gives absolutely his all. We didn't see the world record deadlift, but we did see a master's record. Congratulations, Misha Shivlikov. And hopefully the feats of strength as a whole, finishing off on Mikhail Shivlikov, all of these left have inspired so many of you guys back home. I know they've inspired me throughout this sort of hard time. I don't know about you guys, but uh, Laws, you getting back into training, obviously. Uh, I'm Thor, almost you're... tempted to make a comeback. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> well, again, we want to thank uh, you, Hathor, for coming on as a special guest today to, to have a little look over. A special thank you from us. 
Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me, guys. It's been a pleasure and an honor. And thank you so much, guys. Take care. So that is it from us at World's Ultimate Strongman. Thank you so much from myself and Lauren Shalley. And make sure you stay tuned for World's Ultimate Strongman upcoming competitions.